da -da -da. Thanks to uh, Paul and Frank. Those guys are great over at RC Foam Fighters. Helping me uh, get all the parts and everything for this setup. So here's the introduction to the SU-57, I call it. Here's a three view that I did. I took the SU-37 and cut the elevators off and extended the fuselage and kind of come up with this wacky looking plane. Uh, I just wanted something simple for my first dual motor setup. So there's uh, no thrust vectoring or anything like that. And uh, here's day one and I'm working a lot of kinks out. First off, I've got five five inch props on there, kind of rotating and uh, there's just not enough power there. There I lost a canard from bad construction. So after I lost that canard I decided I'd go ahead and try to fly it without them and see how the plane flew. And it's flyable but the only problem is uh, there's just no pitch control. You'll see here in a second when I come in for a landing, I've got the uh, elevons in the back all, all the way up and the plane's still nosing down. That's also got to do with the CG. I had the battery very far forward. So here's day two. The battery's moved back uh, one full battery length. Throws are increased and I'm running six by four props, same rotation. I think just because of the plane being so big, the same rotation uh, didn't cause oh yeah, oh yeah. too much torque roll. Yep, yep. Now you can hear the motors now and they sound very awkward together. Uh, that's because I had a bad soldering connection between one of the motors and the speed controls. And the plane doesn't seem right, to be as fast. So then, because of this connection, I kept losing one motor. And I could fly the plane with the power of one motor. But then it, the plane would want to roll over constantly. So here's just with one motor. Here's a decent dead stick landing on some tall grass. Because if you've ever tried to land a foam plane in the cornfield, it's not very, not very good for the foam. On this plane, I used uh, some nice balsa shaped pieces for the uh, for the leading edge. They're actually shaped, pre-shaped. Buy them at the hobby shop. Same thing with the elevons in the rear. They're pieces of balsa that are teardrop shaped. Saves a lot of time from beveling edges. So here's where I'm trying to fix the connection on one motor. Good news is I The plane uh, comes in at just over two and a half pounds. Uh, it would have been much heavier had I run two batteries, two receivers, two speed controls, two motors. I wanted something fast that was also dual motor, so I opted for a one battery setup. plane's very predictable, it's got real good glide to it. Now because I didn't want too many problems and I wanted to keep the weight down, uh, this one battery setup is shown here. And when you Y the two speed controls together to one receiver, you have to cut the signal wire and trick the receiver into thinking that it's only getting so much voltage. So you can pause it right there and take a look. And I got everything pretty much mapped out how it's on the plane.
day three. I've got the uh, the motors working together. I fixed that connection, and uh, now you can hear that the motors sound almost identical. So the plane is moving much faster than it was day one, day two. I get pretty excited. You'll hear me say high alpha a couple times because I think the plane is going to do some high alpha maneuvers. There's some inverted flight there. But I started doing some slow loops and the plane almost wants to just kind of sit there and hover before it finally tip stalls. Now if I could get the canards to go forward and the elevons to flip all the way up, I could probably get it to sit like that. But I've only got four servos running this entire plane. The dual motors are the uh, 22126s, same as the Grayson Hobby motors, but I got them from RC Hot Deals, so uh, yeah. you guys need to check that website out. You get the combo packages for really cheap, and they're uh, identical to the Grayson Hobby setup. So I hope this was helpful uh, to any of you guys who are starting on the dual motor setup, and uh, stay tuned for some more video.